Hi Calvary, it's Pastor Chad. And today I wanna to talk with you about character. Uh, you know, the, this week we've, we've talked to you about the mission of Calvary. Yesterday, Pastor Joe talked to you about uh, the first core value, which is calling. And today I wanna to talk to you about our core value of character. And, and never has that been more important than it is today in the midst of the crazy world that we're living in watching people uh, hoard items. Uh, just, that's just selfishness being born out in front of us, uh, practiced openly, uh, people even bragging about it or taking pride in it. And, and that demonstrates a lack of Christ-like character. Uh, character is one of our core values and we believe that you cannot represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. And, and there's no way that we're gonna let our light shine before people so that they see our lives and then want to glorify Jesus. Uh, because that's what it means. To, to wanna to glorify God, to praise God, means that they are going to believe in the God that we serve. They're gonna believe in Jesus because of the character they see in you and in me. And, and that's why this is so important. That's why it's a core value of Calvary. That's why we talk about treating people with kindness everywhere you go, uh, treating people with respect, speaking encouragement rather than criticism. Uh, that, that's why we want us to be good tippers uh, of the, the service staff. And I know right now you can't even go sit down at a restaurant and tip, but, uh, but that day's gonna come again. Uh, it's just being consistently uh, a person of Jesus, modeling that life of Jesus, that love of Jesus. And, and if you're going to be that person of character, if you're going to love your neighbor as yourself, the, the best place I know to go and check up on that is uh, the Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 5 when he shares the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And, and he says, for the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things as these, there is no law. In other words, if you're in love with Jesus enough to, to allow the Holy Spirit to build these characteristics of Jesus in your life, you don't have to worry about following rules because you're following the model of Jesus. And, and that's really what we want to do. And that's what we want to be. So uh, my hope and my prayer is that the people of Calvary would be so full of love towards their neighbors, would be such people of peace and joy around their neighbors, that, that we would be kind and patient around people, that, that they're beginning to ask, what's the difference? And, and, and I know, and you know, that there are people who are terrified right now, that are panicked right now, that are, are really afraid of what's gonna come next. And because we know our destiny in Christ and because we want to live out the character of Jesus, we're gonna have a chance to impact them with the gospel like never before. But, but it only is gonna happen if we really can live out the character of Jesus. So, so here's what I'm gonna challenge you to do uh, today or the next couple of days, because uh, this, this is like you're, you're home, you're bored, you're not supposed to go anywhere, you're not supposed to do anything. So uh, do some Bible study, As if, consider it homework and everybody's at home anyway. Uh, so here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. There's nine fruit of the Holy Spirit, nine evidences of the, the character of Jesus that the Apostle Paul says, look, when you're surrendering to the Holy Spirit, uh, this is what's going to show in your life. I'm going to challenge you to look up those words in the Bible. Uh, there's online concordances. Maybe you have one. Uh, there's some in the backs of some of the study Bibles. However you want to do it, but just find some scriptures. Find three that you like for each of those characteristics. So find three verses about love. Uh, you know, you're gonna find them in Mark chapter 13 and 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You're gonna find them in John chapter 13. Seems to be some kind of a trend here, doesn't there? Uh, you're gonna find verses about love and, and write down your three favorite. A and then go find verses about joy. And, and then find verses about peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control and, and, and find three verses about each of those characteristics that you can meditate on. And, and after you compile that list, then look, go look back over that each day and, and ask God to teach you how to be a person who represents Jesus with those characteristics. And then since you're stuck with somebody at, at your house probably, or you're talking to them uh, on your you know, FaceTime with your iPad or your phone or whatever, practice those with them uh, and encourage them with those and, and try to live out the, that, that character of Jesus in a way that allows God to work through you because he'll bless you as you surrender more and more to the Holy Spirit. 
and he'll bless the people around you through you. So remember what Jesus said. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I pray that you are doing well. I pray that you're growing in your faith even uh, in this time of uncertainty. And I pray that God is using you through the character of Jesus in you to impact the people in your life.